Hello and welcome back to Collection Log Completionist, the series where I attempt to fill in a lot of slots in the collection log. I know it's been a while since the last video, I've been on a bit of a hiatus from this series, got quite burnt on it, but we are back. I can't promise the uploads will be super regular, but we are back. And in this one, we do a lot of fun grinds, including a massive clue opening of every single clue tier. I hope you all enjoy. We need to start things off with a banger, and that's why I've been doing birdhouse runs like 10 plus times a day for the past few weeks. Look at that. Do you guys know how to do math? I don't. I used a calculator. That is 50 bird's eggs. This is the most I've ever stacked up for one opening, and I think we've got a fair chance of getting Evil Chicken's outfit piece. It could happen. Before we start, though, a huge shout out to Joey, who counted up every bird egg we've used in the entire series of collection log completion is before the counter came out and that is 164 so once our counter hits 36 uh birds eggs we will have hit the drop rate of it and we could officially start complaining how many are we at right now okay we're at 13 so once we get up to 36 we will officially be dry thank you so much joey i don't know how you had the patience or perseverance to count up all the birds eggs but I truly do salute you. So let's see. Come on. Can we get anything? Come on. I just want to see an evil chicken piece so badly. Wait, I was spreading false information. It's actually one in 300 chance to get the evil chicken outfit. So we need to get our counter up to 136 before we're drying this. I'm terribly sorry for lying to you guys. And uh, nothing. Four more eggs. Four more eggs. Come on, please. Just let it pop up. The boots? The boot. Oh, not the boots. Anyways, let's go see how much money we got from all of these eggs that we turned in probably made bank here we go here comes the here comes the here here comes the price check 455k wow that's actually really really good we got two u seeds seven maple seeds wow i think this is the best one we've had so far oh i love you vorkat thank you for the elite clue it's actually pretty common here like one in 65 so like every two hours of me sitting stabbing this dragon we'll get an elite clue you guys know how much i love elite clues they're always great oh look how lucky we are another elite clue this is the best boss in the game i don't know why i've hated it so much over the years i remember why i hate this boss the world lags during acid phase and you are just dead a little depressing but it's okay and through a lot of perseverance, 1,500 kill count at Vorkath. That is halfway to the drop rate of the pet and the jar. And we are about 500 kills over drop rate of the dragon bone necklace. Although I have had one before a very, very long time ago before I started the collection series. I think I got it at like three or 400 kill counts. So it's been over 1,000 kills since then, but I'm not really do one, quote unquote, until about 2,000. So, you know, we just got to keep trucking on. Got another Vorkath head, which is great. It's actually kind of useful because it means that I can bring more Avas to Revs when I do Scold Revs killing. Not that that many people PK at Revs, but you never know. So Dave and I decided to run a little bit of TOB, and he actually managed to pull a purple on one of them. And he got, well, something you're not going to be able to see unless you watch a series that is not out yet. So you're going to have to wait a really long time for that. I'm sorry. I could promise you it wasn't a Justy Helm, though. You know what I haven't done in a while is a good old-fashioned clue opening. So I think I'm going to stack up 100 caskets. I'm not sure of what tier, easy, medium, or hard. Uh, maybe I'll just do all three of them, which are already ready, but I think this is not enough. I think we need to get a nice elite clue stack in here as well, so I think I'm going to stack up like 20 or 25 elite clues as well. I would go all the way to 100, but I think that would literally take me 50-ish hours because I am going to be doing the Urium Shades burning method, and I'll explain exactly how I'm doing that here in a minute, but yeah, we're going to have a beautiful casket opening momentarily, and it's going to be a ton of fun. So I estimate that I'll need about 4,200 uh, Urium remains to burn to get enough keys to get the 23 elite clues I want to get. That just cost me, oh, I don't know, <laughs> 26 million gold. But we'll actually make most of that back, believe it or not. The loot that you get is pretty insane from the shades. I haven't calculated it right now, but you used to profit quite greatly from this. Maybe you still do. I guess we'll find out. So now I have a bunch of Urium remains and uh, Redwood Pyre logs, and we get to go burn those. This is going to take a while. So the way you do this, for those who don't know, you just put the pyre logs down, you put the remains on top, you burn them, and then you have like an 80% chance-ish to get a key. Let's see if we get lucky. Yay, we got a key. And then to get an elite clue from using a key on the chest, it's about a 1 in 144 chance. So I have to burn like a lot of these remains to get 144 keys, but it actually is pretty fast in the long run it's about two elite clue completions per hour on average over time doing this so uh it's pretty good actually it's better than anywhere else in the game as far as i'm aware 
So this is a pretty long grind, and I want to show you guys real quick the method I'm going to be using. It's a tick manipulation method. If none of this makes sense, there is a much more in-depth guide I'm going to link in the description by QHP. He does a great job of explaining it. Basically, I have a Celastris bark here, and I'm going to use that to start a tick manipulation cycle right there. And you see how he instantly lights the fire. Normally, there's a delay to that, but with this, it instantly lights it. And in between that, you actually have time to pull out more uranium remains from there. Now, if you're really precise with it, you can actually loot... Go back, continue the cycle, and boom. As you can see, it stays perfectly in cycle. So it's really, really efficient. You can do like 600 per hour, which means this is still going to take like seven hours to burn all of these shades. But in the end, it's going to be worth it because we're getting elite clues like super fast. Also, a really interesting fact is that if you do this really well, you can actually get up to 450,000 fire making XP per hour and just over 100k per XP per hour, making this a really nutty method, especially if it's still profitable. We'll find out if it's still profitable, but I think it probably is. And I think that is enough keys so that if we get some average luck, we should be nabbing ourselves the rest of the elite clues we need. Look how beautiful that is. That is so many golden keys. And I still have some leftover uh, shade remains and pyre logs. Maybe I'll use those in the future. But look at this. We got almost 4 million million gold in just straight cash just from burning the shades so that is a pretty nice rebate and the even better rebate comes when we actually start opening these keys so a couple tips for when you're opening this there are four different pairings of keys as you can see there are four corners and in each corner there are different pairings you do the brown and reds together crimsons and blacks together crimsons and reds together and the browns and purples together obviously the black and purple keys are the least common so those are the ones i'm going to go through first and also i sold off all the loot in my bank that you can get from here including my runes and my coins so we will be able to see exactly how much money we make from this and look how fast you can loot this when you've got oh well, it doesn't matter because we got an elite clue on our second one. Let's go. So initially, I was going to be wearing a Ring of Wealth the whole time I opened this because I remember reading a Mod Ash tweet about that a while ago, that the Ring of Wealth increases your chance of getting good drops. But what that means is it increases your chance of getting unique drops, and the unique drops like the Gold Lock, the Rune Scrolls, and the Fine Cloth are actually worth significantly less than most of the other standard drops. Even the Amulet of the Damned is only worth about 33k, and uh, while that is good, I don't want to screw myself over by getting more Fine Cloth, which is only worth like 8k. Oh, and I'm also not going to be showing any of the unique loot like this uh, gold locks or amulet of the dam we got because honestly, when I'm opening thousands and thousands of these keys, we're going to get a disgusting amount. So I'll show them at the end, but uh, you probably won't see many clips of me opening because I mean, like, what's exciting besides elite clues? All right, here it is, folks, the last inventory of keys. Here's my last key. You really thought I was going to use that? What am I stupid? I would have to, like, get a whole nother gold key if I ever want to come back here. Actually, it really doesn't matter on a main account because I could buy the shades. I think I'm the stupid one. Anyways, are you excited to see the loot and how many clue caskets we got? So we were expected to get about exactly 23 clue caskets. We started with two elite clues and the goal was to get to 25. We got up to 19. So unfortunately, we only got 17 elite clues when we were supposed to get 25. Pretty dry, but you know, it does happen. Random variance is a thing and no Jagex is not out to get you when you get unlucky. Definitely out to get me, but not you. So anyways, let's pull all this beautiful loot we got from here out and check it out. So this cash stack here is just from looting the shade things. Also, I have Entity Hider on because it's much easier to loot when you're doing that. And uh, yeah, just look at this inventory. It is absolutely amazing. Now, for reference, we spent just about 26 million gold on buying these shade remains. And then also, where are they? The shade remains and the redwood pyre logs. Now, to be fair, I did have a bit of redwood pyre logs. So let's just up that to like 20 28 mil to be completely fair it definitely did not cost that much but we'll call it 28 mil just to not be fair let's price check the first inventory there is more loot than this but that is 36.9 basically 37 million gold so we're already looking at a 10 mil profit without even including these things so let's sell these all to the ge and see what we're looking like after that although there is now a ge tax so it's gonna hurt Okay, and I've sold everything that will sell. All of these were not selling, especially the Amulets of the Damned. They were not selling for even like 30k, but they alk for 35k nearly. So I'll probably just alk these while I'm running the Sepulchre or something and then slow sell the rest of these. But let's do a total price check of everything. 42.5 mil. So really, in that grind, we genuinely made, what is that? 14-ish million gold, probably more than that if you're a little bit more generous with the calculations. I tried to be really, really holding myself back so I didn't overestimate estimate anything but 14 million gold for that grind 
is absolutely insane, especially when you consider the fact that I haven't even opened the clue scrolls that I got from this yet. So yeah, I definitely can recommend this method to anybody who's hunting elite clues or anybody who just wants to make money doing something weird because it's a pretty weird method. So I usually run out of bank space when I do these clue openings. As you can see, I have just under 100 bank spaces left, but they have updated the game recently and I really, really appreciate Jagus for this. You can now buy more bank spaces with GP and uh, look how expensive it is. If you want to get all 360 the extra slots it's 888 million gold obviously the last 40 bank spaces costing half a bill is something most people won't spend money on although completionists are over here crying i am however going to drop 8 mil on 120 extra slots there you go buying it will cost 8 mil this is not reversible yes ma'am thank you very much so now let's look at our bank we now have almost a that oh no Oh no, it would look so clean at a thousand. How much does the next one cost? Oh, am I really gonna spend 10 million gold just so it says a thousand instead of 960? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. We're about to get another piece of third age druidic from this clue opening anyways. There's another 10 mil down the drain. What am I doing with my life? We have a thousand bank spaces now. <laughs> I love it. All right, it is finally time to open up all of our clue caskets. They look so beautiful stacked next to each other. I really wanted to have 25 elites, but you cannot control RNG. So we're going to get started with the easy caskets. Time to get started on this clue opening. I, you know, if we just get one or two collection log slots, I'll be very happy. Let me show the easy clue log real quick. We're missing 10 items. A quick scroll through. Uh, obviously the best things to get would be like the monk's robe g or maybe the golden apron and chef's hat or these team caves so six of the items we need are pretty rare but you know anything could happen let me open up the game chat wow a double unique to start things off 200k back to back bob shirts all right black full helm g that's pretty good money oh and uh what where's the money oh six morton teleports are worth 150k all right that's where most of the money from these clues is going to be coming from is the stupid teleport scrolls oh master clue there we go. We're only 14 clues in and we got a master clue. Oh, we got a ham joint. That is awesome. 5.5 million gold. Yes. That is an I, that is an absolute win. Oh, nope. Actually, it's 6.2 mil. Holy hell. Let's go. Let's hold the ham joint for this next clue. It has to be it. It has to be lucky. Ham joint, please bless me with your RNG. Oh, that's a good clue as well. Black Wizard Head G, that's 400k. All right, the ham joint luck is coming through. Oh, and a wooden shield G. I don't I don't think that's rare, but it looks funny. We're about halfway done with the easies and no new uniques yet, but we've had a very profitable venture. And right as I say that, we get a master clue and the black helm H4, which is the last black helm we needed for the easy log. Oh, yes, let's go. Look at that lineup. It's beautiful. So how many did we get before we got this one? We got 7, 14, 21, 25. So it took 25 black helms before we finally got the H4. I don't even care. I'm happy to see that number go up. And we get a master clue, which is not going to be the Legends Guild step, is it? Nope. What could go wrong? Where is my... Yo, that's the same one we just got. Are you serious? Literally almost back to back. We go 2,000 clues without getting an H4 Black Helm. And then we get them, like, almost back to back. That's the one, right? It is. Alright, whatever. What? Are you serious? What? Another one, dude! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Oh, wow, 340,000 gold because of these Morton teleports. I actually have no idea why these are so expensive. The Mauritania legs just teleport you right there. I don't know what people use these for. Do y'all have any idea? Can anybody tell me? Because I have just... I have no idea. We are down to 10 easy clues left, and as is tradition, we spam click the last 10 and then see if we get any uniques. And it looks like we got something, actually. What do we get? The red elegant legs. Oh, we got an ambulance of power trimmed as well. What? That was really good. Okay, hold up. This was a very, very good last 10. This thing's worth like a million gold, I think, right? Yeah, just about a million gold. And we got the red elegant legs. Okay, so that's two new collection log slots in this easy opening. Wow. That is why you spam click the last 10, folks. So we're only missing one piece of Elegant now, and then, like, everything else. But, you know, I'm not complaining. That was pretty good. Two new collection log slots out of that first uh, first clue batch. And now we can move on to the medium clues, which we also have 100 of. And the mediums, we only need three items. We need the black headband, the green dehyde body trimmed, and the gold Elegant skirt. It's not a blouse. It's a skirt. Yo! The gold Elegant skirt! Yes! Let's go! That's huge! We finished Elegant on the medium log. Oh my gosh, yes. So somehow, by some insane stroke of luck or unluck, we have finished all of Elegant 
before we've gotten the black headband or the green day high body trimmed, which are literally twice as common as the elegant items. I'm not complaining. I'm happy to be done with elegant. That's supposed to be the hard part. And uh, maybe we'll clean the whole log up in these 100. I mean, that would be good. I don't even know what a calculator is. Oh, the green dehyde body gold trimmed. I got so excited for a second there. You know when you feel like your heart stopped for a minute when you get really excited? You think you got what you needed, but then you didn't? Oh my god, no way. Are you serious? Of course. Of course. It all comes down to the black headband. It all comes down to the black headband chat. It's all we're missing is the black headband, and then we'll be completely done with the medium log. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Honestly, if we don't finish the medium log after this opening, I'm gonna have to do like 500 medium clues soon and open those, because this is the most excited I've been for a clue opening in a long time. Holy. Oh, you know, speaking of master clues, and another headband that is not the black headband, we've got another master clue. Alright, back to the opening. 41 left to go. What are the odds we get the black headband in these last 40? I mean, really? Can you imagine... If we finish the medium log completely right now with a master clue. Alright, 30 clues left. I found this black headband on the ground. We're definitely getting our own soon. Come on, please, game. Just let me feel happiness. Well, not for now. Master clue. Alright, 30 more mediums to go. We just got holy sandals. There's our first boot of the opening. 1.5 million GP. That's pretty nice. Yo, spiked manacles as well. Alright, alright. We could get every boot this opening. 10 mediums left, and that means spam click time. I'm just going to spam click and look for the collection log pop-up. Please, collection log pop-up. No. No black headband. Did we get anything valuable? Oh, we got a master clue. Nice. Grats on medium log completion. Some... You may have spoken a little too soon there, buddy. But we are just one item off of the medium log completion. We have everything except the cursed black headband. Look at all the other headbands, by the way. I've gotten about, I think, 60 headbands with no black headband. N not the luckiest. Time for the hard clues. We've got ourselves 100 beautiful hard caskets right here, and we need exactly 10 more items to finish the hard clue log. A quick little scroll through the Robin Hood hat, Sarah plate body, uh, two of the rune plate bodies that are really rare, obviously four of the dehyde shields. Any of these would be incredible. Uh, and as for the really common items, the blue dehyde body G, the black cavalier. Why is it always the black items that we're missing? The black headband, the black cavalier. Maybe we can break that curse today. Anyways, let's get started. Hard clues are great because you get a lot of master clues from them. As you can see here, you just get a lot of master clues from them. <laughs> All right, next one, another master. No, nope, no back to back. But we have huge potential to make some money from these hard clues. You know, if we just get a couple pieces of third age real quick, I think we might be able to profit. Yo, blue dehyde, ah, blue dehyde body gold trimmed. Let's go. There's another master clue. Just 10 in. Oh my gosh. Can I just open my clues? All right, 90 clues left to go. Let's see if we can make it through 10 more without a master clue. That was a double unique clue. What the hell? An ancient dehyde shield? Oh no. Let's go. That, that was not on my bingo board for things that were going to happen this month. That is amazing. And honestly, it's the best looking one. This is the coolest shield in the game. Do not try and tell me it's not. It looks so sick, and Zeros is easily the best god with the best symbol. Alright, so I don't think we're going to get any more uniques in the rest of this opening. It's already been so insane, but there is a master clue again. Can't even make it like 10 clues without getting another master, but that's okay. Wow, look at that clue! Three uniques, Guthix Dehyde Boots, and a Zami Coif. That is a beautiful one right there. If you're an Iron Man and you get that clue... You're probably crying tears of joy. That was like a 30 minute master clue. We got triple steps like four times. So I'm hoping that we can make up for that right now by simply getting third age. Third age? Any Anyone? Oh, Guthix DI body. 200K? Is it really only 200,000 gold for a Guthix DI body? It's 130,000. All right, I've never done this before because usually I slow click through all the hard caskets because of master clues, but uh, all of my chat wants me to spam click the last 10, so I'm gonna do it. Spam click through the last 10 clues, and no collection like Wait, yo! We got a gilded! <laughs> yes, all right. Okay, okay, gilded full helm. Yo. <laughs> this is the most insane clue opening ever. Oh my god, it just, it's the gift that keeps on giving. That looks amazing. How much is this worth? This has got to be at least 50k, right? 2.7 mil. I cannot say that I'm upset with this. Oh my god. Let's go. This is a good day. This is a pretty good day. So now we only need 8 more items to fill the hard clue log. And of course, a brand new addition to our gilded collection in the hard clue section. 
absolutely amazing. Also, the Gilded Helmet is in the Hard, Elite, and Master, so that's technically three collection log slots, which is absolutely massive. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Also, really glad we bought the extra bank space. We're literally already almost full on our bank space again. And now it's time to get our Elite Caskets out. 19 Elite Caskets. Literally going to get a Master Clue every single time I click on one of these. Also, let's check the Elite section of the log. We only have 22 items in 239 Caskets. That is absolutely terrible, I'm pretty sure. So, let's make up for that now. Here we go. 19 Elites. First one, we get a Duplicate Royal Gown Top. That is so unfortunate. I have so many dupes from Elites. Uh, and there is our master clue on the third elite clue, as expected. I think it's like a one in five chance to get a master from elites. Finally, the master clue's done, and we can get back to the elite clues, my favorite thing in the game, for 13 seconds, and then we get to do another master clue. Plus, another duplicate item, the musketeer to bard. I think I'm gonna go and 15 elite clues to go, and we got a new unique, the dragon chain body ornament kit. Wait, is that one of the ridiculously rare ornament kits, or am I mistaken? I don't remember let me look it up nope never mind that's just one of the normal rarity uh unique items but pretty awesome nonetheless to see a new elite item i'm very very happy about that also thirty-four thousand gold elite that is absolutely hysterical and another master clue man these are flowing in so well and it's another triple stepper 12 more elites to go which means 12 more masters yo we got another unique the hosidia scarf wow this is the most insane day of clue openings i've ever seen all right i don't I don't even know what to say. It's been so long since I've gotten a unique from an elite, and now we've got two in one opening. Oh my gosh. There's no way this can continue. Like, we're getting nothing for the rest of these elites, like, at all. Well, we'll get another master, at least. That's something. Eight more elites to get through. I'm almost at the point where I'm like, please, no more master clues, because I'm losing my sanity, and I have a headache, so. I mean, I'm okay with a new unique. Like, the monocle? Wait, what? I didn't even know this was an item. Oh, yeah, I did. Never mind. Okay. That's three uniques. What the hell? All right. Oh, I thought that was another unique for some reason. All right, last elite clue of the day, and we are done with the elites. We got three new uniques for the elite section. I'm so happy. We went from 22 to 25. This elite log is looking a lot better. And now we get to move on to the masters, the juiciest section of the log, potentially nabbing ourselves a bloodhound. How many master clues did we get? Let's see. We got 14. No way we got 14 masters. That's the perfect amount to get us up to 300 master clues. All right. This kind of feels like destiny, y'all. I think we're going to get something good from these Masters. Wait, what is the number we're at at Masters? We are at 24 out of 49. Let's see if we can get a new unique from the Master Clues. I clicked it. It's laggy as all hell, but let's get it going. 400k, 200k. All right, not looking great so far. This is this is looking horrible, actually. What are these? What are these Master Clues? Are they always this bad? I don't remember, dude. All right, we've been, we've been through eight Masters without any uniques or mimics. Just something, please, just one, hey, there's my fifth, maybe sixth, Piscarillus Hood? Oh, it's only my third. Okay, I'm over-exaggerating, I need to stop being such a baby. Let's keep going. Come on, please, please. Ah, duplicate rope top of darkness, and the last master clue of the day. You know, you can't win them all. Let us see what we get. We get nothing. Wow. Two unique items, but they were both duplicates, unfortunately. I guess that uh, I don't have an insane amount of new items to get from Masters, but that's okay. We're now at 300 Master Clues completed, and the overall clue opening of the day was absolutely incredible. I'm still riding on that high of the three Elite Clues, the Gilded from the Hard Clues, and the Almost Done with the Medium Log. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm not disappointed. So I've been rocking some Konar Slayer for the past day or so, just for fun. I f wasn't going to make a clip until I got a good amount of keys and we were going to open them and test them out. But I feel like we're going to get something from the Thermonuclear Smoke Devil. So I had to make a clip saying we got the task. So when I get the jar, you guys will be like, oh, nice. Hey, an occult necklace. It's a tradition. Every time I get this, I like to trash on how cheap it is. But it's actually up to 400,000 gold. I'm not sure if this item was included in the item sync update with the Grand Exchange tax. I really hope it was because this thing deserves to be a lot more than 400k. It also just looks nice. I'm sorry I got your hopes up. Absolutely nothing interesting happened on this task except for the occult necklace. I did get one brimstone key though, so that's cool. Hey, we just hit 2,000 kill count at the thermonuclear smoke devil, which is the drop rate of the jar. That does not mean we're dry on it actually though, because you know the jar came out way after I got the pet here. It was probably like 11 or 1,200 kill count, so we're only like 800 kills into the jar grind. Yes, it's depressing. Yes, I hate everything. Thanks for asking. Oh, wow. Hey, that's actually really cool. Smoke Battlestaff, which is still worth about 1.6 million gold. Very nice. I think that's like a 
one in 1,000 drop or something like that, so I'm pretty happy. Once we're done with this trip, I'll check how many we've gotten, because I have this weird feeling we've gotten like five of those. Nope, actually, that's our fourth one, and it's a one in 512, so we're pretty much perfectly on rate with that bad boy. And no, I have not gotten nine Dragon Chain bodies from this boss. That was from Calfight Queen and this boss and Dust Devils combined. Yes, I have gotten two pets from this boss, and no, I really don't want to talk about it. And an occult necklace, very nice. Oh, would you look at that? That is another smoke battle staff. All right, another occult necklace. This inventory is looking absolutely stupid. We've also gotten four brimstone keys. I am, I'm very much liking the boss right now. I usually don't, but uh, if it keeps doing this, I'll like it. And well, there's the task. Nothing too insane from this task. No jar, no uh, third pet. So, you know, kind of a failure. I'll throw the loot on screen though. I really did this time. You can look, I promise I threw the loot on screen. If I didn't throw the loot on screen, you can dislike the video, okay? All right, whatever, we got Zolra task, so we'll just do 35 Zolra kills. I mean, why not? At this point, I'm a broken shell of a man, so we're just gonna go kill Zolra. What a drop. Dragon Halberd and Spirit Seed. I couldn't tell you guys what I did, but this was a perfect Zolra kill, and that is just an exemplification of how good I am at this game. And there is the Zolra task done. I honestly wish that, you know, there were like, I don't know, Zolra tasks that were a couple hundred long, because that was insane. I don't think I ever had a kill that took longer than like a minute, 20 seconds. It was pretty fun. Oh, I just got a Fossil Island Wyvern's task. I forgot to unextend them after we got the Wyvern Visage, so we're gonna do that now. And because this task is like 71 of them, that will take a long time and it really doesn't benefit me at all. We're gonna cancel it and get the best task of all time, Black Demons in the Catacombs. You have genuinely got no idea how happy I am to see a Quizmaster. I have not seen a Quizmaster random in probably four months of playing, so it's been a long time and we've got a mystery box. Usually I would save these up. Oh no, it's on the ground. That is a disaster level threat right there normally i save these up but like i said i haven't seen one in so long i literally have no mystery boxes in the bank could this be the stale bag and make my day 50 times better it is literally nothing there, there was nothing in the box that man took me out of my day and then gave me a box with nothing in it okay nobody freak out this is two quiz masters in one day i don't know what's happening i do know we're about to get i mean let's be honest it's gonna be like an emerald or something it's a medium clue! Okay, wait, that's kind of cool. Alright, here's the medium casket. Will it be the black headband? Not quite, but we did get a fire lighter, so pretty good victory in my eyes. Ignore the fact that I did not bring enough super combats, but I just wanted to talk about how absolutely insane Bloodveld tasks are here in the Mire Ditch Labs. I mean, a lot of people will obviously say Smoke Devils are the best Slayer task in the game. They give the highest XP per hour, but this requires so much less effort. You just like throw up the cannon, maybe run around a little bit to move them around, and you get like 80,000 plus Slayer XP per hour. I've gotten five Brimstone Keys in the span of like 20 minutes. It is absolutely disgusting. If you have not done Sins of the Father, go do it right now you dirty little and there is another thermonuclear smoke devil task done no jar unfortunately but you know what they say this boss sucks are you serious Conar? are you serious back to back now normally i would do this because you know obviously we still need the jar but now nah, i'm gonna do it but i'm probably gonna just barrage the normal ones because <laughs> that takes like two plus hours and it's so boring it is so boring you guys okay finally finally the konar grind is over and i know what you're saying shelby that's only 48 brimstone keys well i had a ton of thermi tasks okay and i've had a rough couple of days happy new year's everyone by the way i hope you had a great year you know, mine wasn't the best, if I'm being honest, but this year is about to be amazing because we're going to get ourselves our first piece of Dusk Mystic right now. You might say, 48 keys, that's a little bit strange. Well, once we open these 48, we'll be at 400 on the counter, which means that'll be 500 opened in total. Since I opened 100 before they added the counter, Jagex, please stop putting content in the game without a counter. Just, just stop doing it. Let's get started. What could go wrong, right? There's no way we get to 500 brimstone chests without any Dusk Mystic. <laughs> <sighs> it's only our second broken dragon hosta no reason to freak out right everything's gonna be okay well we're down to 10 keys and i'm starting to think everything is actually not going to be okay uh, I, I know people who have completed the entire Dusk Mystic log in 500 keys. Yeah, I'm a little bit envious, but honestly, I would be happy if I could just have one piece. Please, I hate doing Conar Slayer so much. Oh my god, Jesus, that's 500 brimstone chests without any Dusk Mystic. If this guy opens it up and gets some right in front of me, I will lose my- How many does this man have? Did he come here just to flex on me? What the- And then he just walks away. That's it. 
He's, he's just gone. Well, everyone, the moral of the story is to never set your sights on RNG-based goals because you will either get super lucky and have people clown on you for the rest of your life about how great your RNG is, or you will go super dry and get clowned on for the rest of your life by people who just laugh at the fact that you don't have the item yet. I almost didn't price check everything that we got. Let's see how much money we made from what was probably like 30 to 40 hours of Konar Slayer. 4.9 mil pretty worth it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I had a great time making it, except that part with the brimstone keys. I kind of did not enjoy that at all, but you know, you win some, you lose some, and it is a new year. I hope you guys are doing well in your New Year's resolutions. My New Year's resolution is going to be to finish this last quest. I, I actually have no idea what quest I haven't done. Ah, getting ahead. Yep, we'll do that in the next video, I promise. And I will also upload at least one more video this year. If I die an untimely death and I break that promise, you can all clown on me. But other than that i should be able to pull it off anyways i appreciate you all i hope you have a fantastic day and i will see you next time goodbye